Hey y'all, it's Sweet Georgia T. Tracy G. Um, I know I've been in my A for a minute, and that's only because I've been working, going to school, and um, taking care of some of these appointments, whether it be for myself or my husband. Um, just been really busy lately. And any time that I do have free, all I want to do is get something to eat and get in my bed. That's it. That's it. But anyway, I want to keep you guys informed on, you know, and updated, rather, what's been going on with me lately. And um, I've basically gone through all the process of my exams. Um, I've had the cardiac ultrasound done, which is right here. I've had um, two nutrition classes, which I've finished completing that on Thursday and I've done um, if I'm looking down this on because I'm reading my notes um, I've done the sleep study also I have um, done the orientation of course that's in the beginning I have yet to um, do my clearance which I'm gonna see my doctor about next week and also, the insurance approval is what I need to have done. I'm not too worried about that. But um, it's just a few more things that I need to, to finish. And at which point, I guess I'll have a date. But today was, was um, kind of interesting. What I wanted to do before the weight loss surgery, because I'm so undecisive on which way I want to go and if I really want to have this surgery done or not um, I feel like I need it only because I'm at that weight and it's like stubborn weight at this point um, I don't like to share too much information of, about that but I am an open book about it I don't have any problems showing or sharing that information with you all on whether I'm gonna have um, gastric sleeve surgery or not but um, you know it's so much being said about is the easy way out there's nothing easy about surgery there's nothing easy about that and not only that but if it's anything easy to help anyone out we would take that road we would take it so really I turn deaf ear when it comes to people saying oh it's the easy way out you're just lazy or you just didn't want to exercise or eat right if you could take a pill and you can lose weight tomorrow half of y'all would do it so really let's not go there with the easy way out type thing um it's hard and it gets harder as we get older and um i didn't really think i was going to touch on that tonight but I, it's out there now that's how I feel about it. Uh, you can all share your opinion if you like, but ultimately it's my decision what I do with my body, whether I decide to do this procedure or not. And what I'm gonna do first um, that I want to share with you all was I may go ahead and do, um, you know, the way they do for the nutrition class. I may go ahead and do that route first of doing the liquid diets and all that that they um, have you to do before surgery but my only thing is and I don't think I really would have a big problem doing this procedure or losing any weight but my problem people comes in with keeping it off I know I'm not going to have liquids for the rest of my life um, if I get the weight off, am I going to be able to be successful enough to keep it off? That is what bothers me. Do I think I can lose some weight on my own? Yeah, I've done it before. But am I going to be able to keep it off? That I don't know. And that's what bothers me. But, you know, I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to start this on Monday. I'm off tomorrow, so... This would be a little bit of a challenge just knowing that um, I'm on liquids. That means I can have broth and all that good stuff. 
wanting things kind of sweet, I can have a popsicle. Um, but I'm not going to be too strict on myself because I feel like this is not the actual thing that I need to do right now. But I'm doing this for myself. Um, if I decide to have some broth, maybe I'll throw some vegetables in there if I feel like I need to chew on something. You know what I'm saying? So I won't be too strict on myself. But, however, I am going to see how this goes. Um, everything else has been done. Everything has been done. And it was a process, a long process. I know my husband is probably <laughs> really tired of going through these channels with me with the <laughs> appointments and, you know, just the different things that had to be, <laughs> that had to go on with me with this process. But nonetheless, good people, I do believe even going through everything that we've been going through, I feel like it's going to be all so worth it in the end. At least, I hope so. So, anyway, um, I don't think I've got on here in a while and said so much in a while, but I did have a lot of things I want to share. Um, I did like a little bit of grocery shopping today tonight this evening you know I bought um, some of the protein shakes and all the little things that I know I was gonna need for this journey which I'm gonna start tomorrow so uh, we'll see how that goes I, oh also um, I've done the stress test the stress test has been done that was what I had last week and the one class I have left to do is to see the um, psychologist. That's the very last thing I need to do. And that's in the first week of March. And I'll let you know how that goes. After that, by that time, I'm doing the liquid diets, which I'm starting tomorrow. I will let you know how far I've gone down in weight. And if I feel like I can do this by following their weight loss plan, then I may wind up doing that without actually having the procedure. This way I don't have so much of a restriction. But anyway, okay. Um, what else is there What I want to touch base on? Um, if you have any questions you want to ask me and I can answer them, Feel free to ask. Sweet Georgia T. Tracy G. Peace.